Hello brothers and sisters, today is another bright new day that the Lord has made and we are going to rejoice in it and be glad in it as we study His Word. And uh, in today's uh, Bible study, we're going to study something rather very confusing <laughs> and uh, of course my mind blowing to Christians and uh, the whole world at large. Many people always ask this one question. What is the God particle? I'm sure you've heard about this and you can be asking, what is the God particle? <laughs> okay. Hope uh, you're seated on a comfortable seat. You have a, a pen and a notebook and uh, you, of course, you have your Bible. And let's get started. All right. So, the God particle is the nickname of a, a subatomic particle called the called the Higgs boson. And uh, in layman's terms, the different subatomic particles are responsible for giving matter different properties. One of the most mysterious and important properties is mass. And some particles like uh, protons and neutrons, they all have mass. While others like uh, photons do not. The Higgs boson or God particle is believed to be the particle which gives mass to matter. Okay. And the God particle nickname grew out of the long drawn out struggles of physicists to find this elusive piece of the cosmic puzzle. And uh, we understand that uh, what follows is a very brief, very simplified explanation of uh, how the Higgs boson fits into modern physics and how science is attempting to study it. And of course, the standard model of uh, particle physics is a system that attempts to describe the forces, the components and the reactions of the basic particles that make up matter. It's not only what deals with the atoms and their components only, but the pieces that compose some subatomic particles so this model does have some major gaps including gravity and some experimental contradictions and uh, the standard model is still a very good method of understanding particle physics and it continues to improve the model predicts that uh, there are certain elementary particles even uh, smaller than protons and neutrons as uh, as of the date of this podcast the only particle predicted by the model which has not been experimentally verified is the Higgs boson of course jokingly referred to as the God particle and uh, results obtained by researchers in 2012 recorded observations consistent with the Higgs boson while subs subsequent results seem uh, promising analysis continues as uh, physicists seek further confirmation of the elusive particle one thing you have to know is that each of the subatomic particles contributes to the forces that cause all matter interactions one of the most important but least understood aspect of matter is mass and science is not entirely sure why some particles seem massless like photons and others are massive and the standard model predicts that there is an elementary particle which is the, B, the Higgs boson which would produce the effect of mass and confirmation of the Higgs boson would be a major milestone in our understanding of physics. So, the God particle. Hmm. This God particle was, nick was uh, nicknamed 
or actually it arose when the book uh, this book by Leon Landerman uh, came up the book is titled uh, The God Particle If the Universe is the Answer Then What is the Question and uh, since then it is taken on a life of its own in part because of the monumental questions about matter that the God Particle might be able to answer and the man who first proposed the Higgs boson existence, uh, he, of course, Peter Higgs, isn't all that amused by the nickname God Particle, as is uh, an unvowed atheist. All right, he's an atheist. All the same, there isn't really any religious intention be behind uh, that nickname, and currently. Efforts are underway to confirm the Higgs boson using uh, results obtained in 2012 from the Large Hadron Collider, a particle as, uh, accelerator in Switzerland, which should be able to confirm or to refute the existence of the God particle. And of course, with any specific discovery, God's amazing creation becomes more and more impressive as we learn more about it. Either result that the Higgs boson really exists or does not exist, <laughs> it all represents a step forward in human knowledge and another step forward in our appreciation of God's uh, inspiring universe. Whether we like it or not, <laughs> okay, there is a God, all right, and uh, whether we we find that there is a God particle or not, but uh, we know one thing for sure about Christ or about the true God. In Colossians 1 verse 16, the Bible clearly tells us, it tells us uh, that uh, for by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in the earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him. Okay? Were created by him and for him. Alright? For through him, God created everything. Do you really believe that God created everything? Or are you waiting for the God particle, uh, the large hydron collider in uh, Switzerland? Anyway, let's uh, hold on and, and, and see. So all in all, uh, that's the end of our today's uh, Bible study lesson. Hope it was a blessing to you. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one.